Hi, this is Lee at Runtime Micro. This video is about phase shifting square waves with Arduino and shows how you can do it. The 16-bit timers in Arduino Uno, Nano, and Mega 2560 have built-in shiftable square wave generators. Since these timers use a crystal-controlled clock, their output is very stable. Because their digital timer-generated waveforms have precise repeatability. Using RTM Timer Calc, a free application you can download from Runtime Micro, we can calculate timer register values for wanted frequencies and an initial phase shift. For instance, I'd like to have 0 and 0. And we'll get into this in more detail soon. Here's a quick demo of what phase shifted square waves look like on an oscilloscope. This video shows two square waves in phase, and I start the lower trace moving to the right, and I stop at selected points, and we get all the way over to 180 degrees shift. Turn around, and we do a little back and forth here. This is with push buttons, and head all the way back up to zero degrees. This will circle the jitter section of the top waveform momentarily. The stop start action of the code on the timer causes the scope to have a little jitter. It gets a little upset about this. There's 20 milliseconds of delay between each phase change. And there we are, we're done. The demonstration you just saw. All the parts that we needed were just an UNO, an 830 breadboard, some header pins, a couple of push buttons, and a USB cable. I connected the Arduino to the breadboard with some sticky tape, and I soldered my push buttons onto a little bit of vector board so that it would be pluggable and something that would be semi-rugged. Now it's time to take a look into what's going on with the math. Now the range of shift that you get with an Arduino timer is 180 degrees. That shift is relative to the start of the counter from zero. So as you go along, it takes two of these events, two of these sawtooth waves, to make a 360 degree round trip, as it were, for a one hertz of output but you're only able to shift across half of that. It's kind of important that we keep that in mind. And for the project that you saw, we start off with an initial setup of zero and zero. The other thing to consider is that the frequency we used was 1000 hertz. The frequency, when you change it, affects your shift resolution. Right now, we've got a divider that we use to get the frequency of 1000 Hertz. Since we have 180 degrees of phase shift range, if we divide 180 by 8000, we get our phase resolution. And that is 0 0.0225, according to my little calculator here. So if I divide 8000 into 180, I get 0 0.0225 degrees. That's the smallest, finest change I can make. Well, what if I change the frequency? What happens? It's the larger the frequency, the larger the step size. I'm going to jump to 60,000 hertz. Watch what happens over here when I calculate that. Timer Calc realized that we were below 180. And it plugged in a little warning here in the code comment telling you, you now have a 1.35 degree step size. Now, it's kind of hard to see that step size being enforced here. But if I go to 600 kilohertz and recalculate, timer calc is going to tell me my step size is now huge. It's 13 degrees per step. And I only have an ICR value of 13. Timer calc will enforce that visually and show you. You won't be able to go to max. You won't be able to go to min because your step size is so huge. You need timer calc version 1.4 to generate these special 
instructions here. These instructions keep the phase shift synchronized. All you have to do is scroll down on this web page that's hosting this video and look for the link to Runtime Micro. There you're going to find a web page that shows you the code listing for the example project. It's going to show you the electrical diagram or the schematic for the example project. If you take an UNO and you wire it up per the schematic and you use the example code and you have push buttons, then you will be able to duplicate what you saw in the video for phase shifting. This is Lee at Runtime Micro. Have fun phase shifting square waves.